We show up in the party <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ashwin again. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, texture paint the fundamentals, just the fundamentals uh, of texture painting in Blender. Now, first of all, uh, Blender does have a lot of methods for you to uh, paint your characters, uh, add the color to them. One is uh, materials, just raw materials, just creating a material, setting the color, the meta how metallic it will be, the metalness, the specularity of it, if that's a word, I think it is. Anyway, um, and the roughness and everything, transmission and everything. Uh, now, then you can apply those materials. Now, after that, there is texturing, just shading actually. It's, you just take an image texture which is uh, you might have downloaded it, it doesn't matter uh, and then you paint it on your character and then using the UV map if you know what I'm talking about you can just uh, adjust adjust so yeah just how you want uh, anyway uh, the third uh, way is texture painting uh, t now texture painting is my personal favorite way because I, I I think it, it is the most ergonomic one, the most detailed one, and the most professional one. And you don't have to rely on any exterior factors, so like taking great pictures or editing or making pictures in Photoshop or something, and then putting them into Blender. That you don't need that much fuss. You just start painting on your character or or on the UV map. You, that's exactly what texture painting is. You just take your character and paint or your mess whatever and you paint on it now for this tutorial i'm not going to be using the uh, a character or something despite uh, seeming to be to be saying that a lot i'm going to be using the default cube actually and uh, yeah i think you can actually tell first of all just a heads up you can probably tell that there is some uh, there have been some changes in the lighting of my studio uh, I got this light over here so that it can help me uh, with whatever and here's my phone uh, if you can see with I mean let me see what you can see uh, okay yeah this is my phone just projecting some light onto me uh, yeah, I'm really sorry if the lighting situation is not that great. Uh, I am actually, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually just uh, still experimenting with that because the, the, my lighting is not uh, that great. Uh, and I've also got a green screen which I'm going to be using later on in this tutorial because I desperately need to remove this distracting background while I'm showing all those things to you because no one really cares about the what I have in my room you guys just want to see uh, whatever is going on in the tutorial so yeah without further ado let's get into blender uh, texture painting I don't know if you are intimidated by it but uh, at least the fundamentals are not that difficult to understand it's exactly like I said so uh, it's it's like exactly like I said uh, you you basically take your character and paint on it that's all you do anyway let's just uh, get into it uh, first of all let's open blender I say first of all a lot it really bums me out anyway uh, it's gonna take a while Alright, so uh, we're in Blender uh, 3.2.0, oh, uh, 3.2.0, oh. anyway, uh, let me just get the green screen, please stop, don't, don't laugh that hard because, uh, or especially if you're a filmmaker, I'm still new to green screens, I don't know if it's going to work, let's, yeah, so here it is, hopefully the color king is not going to be that bad, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is the default cube and you can see there are no materials on it whatsoever uh, Let's actually I'm not going to add any material. Let's go into texture painting uh, 
you can see this uh, pink paint or something uh, that's not that's a sign that there are no textures on it look if you try to uh, if you click by it, that is trying to um, uh, actually paint on it yeah uh, it will say missing textures detected detected and that's because we have no texture so unless this is your material color you don't really need that so now for this I'm going to be using the material mode not the single image mode uh, okay anyway now let's go over here to actually add a new texture uh, base color so base color um, yeah okay uh, now material base color you can actually name this whatever you want I'm going to be naming it to something simple like texture uh, oh yeah um, now these are the resolutions I usually go for 4k resolutions and actually I thought that it was like the video 4k resolution which is basically uh, 4840 now I think it's more than that I think it is 4000 uh, 3000 I'm, I'm sorry 3840 I don't know if I said that or 4000 anyway I think the actual uh, resolution is uh, 4094 for Blender I'm not that sure yet uh, I don't actually remember how uh, how what the size of uh, the pixel size of uh, 4k texture right now if I remember I will uh, say so uh, for now I'm going to be using those uh, default ones those default this default size and I'm going to be setting the color to blue now you can see that when the texture has, is added um, first of all and you can notice that notice that the new material has been created uh, and the base color is texture so not like with every material well, the base color in every mat in materials is whatever you set now in this particular material it's the texture so okay now let's go into texture paint uh, and uh, yeah uh, it doesn't look very good but in rendered in rendered mode it looks quite uh, good anyway uh, you can see that right now there is it's it basically looks like it is uh, just a blue material so let's start uh, painting start painting simply just yeah like that all right uh, but you do whatever you want uh, paint however you actually want it yeah uh, if you are not painting in uh, in if you're painting on a mess and it, like when you click once it's not just a dot and does look something like that uh, so yeah that's basically we've added some uh, texture on our cube uh, now it doesn't look very good but uh, and I don't know why I did this but uh, just a demonstration here on uh, how you can um, just paint uh, on whatever you have created with any material and you can actually uh, you can actually set the uh, in, in the brush settings you can set the blend type uh, here you can see that it's mixed so the, those two colors that I add are mixed now there is also darken which uh, wait actually darken here anyway, anyway there there is uh, the, the color burn which uh, changes basically the color of whatever you, of your uh, painting material so you can see that I'm painting with uh, with um, something like violet uh, over here uh, but it changes it changes color depending on with with depending on what colors it, which colors it interacts with now except for color burn there is also linear burn which here does something pretty similar uh, it doesn't matter I have seen some differences there is there's a lot of things over here uh, now usually you want to want to use mix um, that's basically what I work with uh, so yeah with mix it's basically what I said earlier you can just uh, start painting uh, around uh, I, I'm not very sure and it's like drawing I'm not very sure if you can actually 
uh, erase whatever it is that you have painted but what I usually do is I find the uh, default color from the UV map over here so you can see this our default color is blue but if I can't find exactly which blue it is I don't have to check the numbers there always I just need to use this eyedropper tool over here and go to this uh, blue shade which is what we initially started with and as you can see as I paint everything else gets erased and blue dominates the world again uh, so yeah I basically you, you can do this with any color you can do this with this color this color it doesn't matter just choose your shade from the UV map and that's basically how you do that uh, now Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope it gave you at least some insight on. Oh, also you can change the radius of your uh, brush over here. Oh man, the, yeah. Um, and the strength because in the mix, uh, for instance, the strength in the mix, uh, type blend type it does that. You see that the, the color, the the purple color over here wants absolutely dominate the other colors it uh, goes by as um, it will be more evident as long so it will be stronger as you increase the strength uh, yeah that's basically what another thing you should keep in mind there are a lot of things here now if you uh, the, the the last uh, thing I wanted oh I'm sorry uh, I wanted to show you is that uh, for instance let's say that you want your object uh, to if you want to paint this or something over here and you want it to be copied onto the other side um, you, you can simply do that by uh, going over uh, by going over uh, to here the the toolbar toolbar yes um, and then going over here to symmetry and then mirror and uh, depending on which axis you want to mirror on you can select you can also select two or three axes instead of one so uh, what's this uh, i can paint over here and now you can see that it's painted over there as well you can see uh wait you can't see actually okay this i painted this and it was mirrored along the z axis as well the z axis uh, so here and here positive z negative z um and then positive x negative uh, i'm sorry uh, wait i one of these of these sides is positive x and the other is negative x now if i paint on with the y axis y axis uh, a positive y axis negative y axis and of course positive z axis uh negative z, z axis usually you just want to click on uh this uh on this yes uh on one axis uh, usually the sides so if this is my if this is my front view let's say and I click on mirror along the y axis you can see that these sides are um, copied but there is nothing else so yeah I think you may understand how mirroring works uh, I'm sorry if I get boring so yeah just remember all these um, it's not that hard it's basically it's frankly very easy to texture paint in blender uh, at least the fundamentals now uh, yeah once you are done or once you have made you can one we, when we added the texture everything was blue and now we painted so the image we so when you create a texture you create an image and um, when you create an image and modify it you need to click on save all images uh, if you forget that and go and close it blender will say save changes before closing even though you might have hit control save and the project has been saved if you click on this uh, it will say save save changes before closing and depending on how many images you have changed you can just select or if you want if you don't want to save the changes of your image just uncheck that if you want to check that now i hope this video i i hope this video gave you at least some insight uh on blend on blender's texture painting methods maybe 
uh, you are new to Blender but I don't think that this is going to be a problem so yeah uh, stand by for later tutorials some very important tutorials are going to be on their way so useful not important uh, necessarily so yeah uh, with that being said uh, I will see you in the next video uh, goodbye um, that's the stuff. I should watch more videos.